that we all in this room, we love each other. We want what's best for each other, and I know that. I am very thankful for that. But uh, what I want, what I want, what I need, is a choice. Sometimes I feel like I never actually make any of my own choices. I mean, my entire life, it just seems I never had a, had a real say about any of it. This last one, cancer. All I have left is how I choose to approach this. These doctors talking about surviving. One year, two years, like it's the only thing that matters. But what good is it to just survive if I am too sick to work? To enjoy a meal? To make love? For what time I have left, I want to live in my own house. I want to sleep in my own bed. I don't want to choke down 30 or 40 pills every single day and lose my hair and lie around too tired to get up and so nauseated that I can't even move my head. Me, what a, some dead man, some artificially alive, just marking time. No. Ah! I have spent my whole life scared, frightened of things that could happen, might happen, might not happen. Fifty years I spent like that, finding myself awake at three in the morning. You know what? Ever since my diagnosis, I sleep just fine. I came to realize is that fear, that's the worst of it. That's the real enemy. We had a good thing, you stupid son of a bitch. We had Frank. We had a lab. We had everything we needed. It all ran like clockwork. You could have shut your mouth, cook and made as much money as you ever needed. It was perfect, but no, you just had to blow it up. You, and your pride, and your ego. You just had to be the man. If you'd done your job, known your place, we'd all be fine right now. And that's how you would remember me. That's the worst part. I've lost my family, everything that I care about. I've lived too long. You want them to actually miss you. Oh, God. How did everything get so screwed up?